What a beautiful weather we have today. You know what? Because today is Arknight's day, baby. Hell yeah. And today, for the very first time, I'm gonna be reacting to boss dims instead of character dims. Chosen entirely by you, the community. Like and subscribe and let me know. What were your thoughts when you first listened to this? Let's go. <laughs> Okay, first one today we have Weavesmster. What? Weaves? Weaves? Wolfmaster? <laughs> I don't know, man. Siracusano boss battle dim. Whatever this is, it must be good, man. Oh, oh, okay, okay, interesting intro, but uh, holy, that was really strange, man. No, actually, no, it wasn't that weird. It had this kind of a snare drum rhythm going on, which is usual, very, very usual in world like soundtracks and or music, but what was really interesting was the blending, the unison between distorted guitar and brass, I think trumpet. The texture generated by the blending of these two timbres is quite good. It's quite unique. I don't know, it has a specific taste. Do we have? Well, no. Oh. Wow! <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. This is a little bit not confusing, but... Uh, but yeah, to have a blend of distinctive elements as crazy as these ones. The brass section with electric guitar, the kind of teenagerish vocals, and also a pre section. Where was it? Here. It's reminiscent of Rage Against the Machine or uh, some kind of new metal. Yeah, this little melody. And the singer's way of singing. Uh, it's so, it's so, I don't know, bro. So teenagerish. Nagerish 15 years ago. <laughs> interesting, interesting because we have a guitar player bending uh, one note here and there in this second verse. They are adding little details to this second verse so it doesn't get as monotonous. Even the rhythm guitar. Now listen to the bass, it's getting more freedom, it's doing more stuff here, it's filling more the spaces, okay? Da -da -da -da. Not gonna lie, I would be pretty distracted if I would be playing and suddenly this starts playing. Okay? Oh, 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 oh. oh man, I'm getting teary <laughs> of excitement. <laughs> Holy 
Mother. Mother of Christ. <laughs> Mother of Christ. I can't even speak properly now. Christ doesn't exist, okay? Oh my god. Again, I would not only be distracted, but I would stop playing. Holy fuck! I love that! Time signature change! Here we go! I wasn't expecting a time signature change in this already multi-stylistic blend of shit, man. It was amazing. It was no wonder it is the most repeated or replayed section. They went to 6 over 8 and they did it wonderfully. Or 6 over 4, maybe? Let's see. Let's see a little bit of it again. I don't know, there seems to be also a tempo change. Holy shit, not only time signature changed, but the tempo changed. And this unison, bro. Beautiful ascending pattern. They are ascending three notes, getting back one note, and again ascending other three notes. Tagada, tagada, tagada. Very usual pattern, for example, in technique exercises I do a lot or used to do. And while this insane unison is happening, the bass seems to be kind of walking. And the, the piano is also playing quite an interesting pattern here. It's like one, two, three, one, two, three, papa, papa, papa. They are playing a rest in the first pulse or beat of the bar. And the other two, they are actually playing it. Oh, it's actually one, two, three, papa, papa, pa, pa. one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, uh, 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 uh. Oh, it's not that complex. They are doing one, two, three. Um, right, one, two, three, one. They're playing three notes and the fourth note in a duration of with the same duration of the last three notes. Okay. I love that. We if we have the three plates, you know, the three notes per beat, we have the uh, how do you say that? I actually don't know how to say that in English. That two plates, you know, two notes per beat when they are supposed to fit three notes. I don't know in Spanish is dosillo. Two plate. I don't know. I don't know if that's the actual pronunciation, but uh, it gives you a sensation of polyrhythm. Here it comes. Holy shit. And that? And this section is the absolute best, bro, because they are doing rhythm displacement. So if it was hard before to know what time signature were we on or not that hard if you're a musician but a little bit confusing because of the polyrhythm stuff now with those rhythm displacements i don't know i don't fucking know this is masterpiece man only because of that section this is masterpiece Okay, precocious time again. And we get to the very usual first verse and first pre chorus. And chorus. We don't need more variations. Thank you very much. 
the song went from monotonous to absolute insanity. Okay, dear Eric Knight's composers, you have my total respect now. Nobody cares about my respect, I know, but only. And it is not that I don't respect them before because of the um, producer kind of approach, timbre, and textures, implementations, but this is what I dig the most. Musical, technical stuff. And they nailed it, man. They <laughs> introduced it. <laughs> introduced technical progressive math rock and or metal concepts to this even jazzy complex jazz contemporary jazz resources here and uh, i'm so happy about it i don't know i'm speechless man uh, give me a moment please second one today we have come catastrophes or wakes of vultures these titles and this music are kind of overwhelming but i like it overwhelm me please Okay. Yes. Okay. A hip hop esque beat. With a distorted guitar and saddle techno elements. Wow, this is very mysterious, man. And this one doesn't have lyrics. Well, apart from the whispers. Wow, and kind of a Middle East uh, melody there with a little bit of harmonic minor scale or maybe Phrygian mode. Yeah, can you catch it? Da 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 da. Well. This background music for sure gets you at the edge of your seat. It's very atmospherical even. Yeah, the chorus is the one with the kind of Middle East melody. Kind of. Is this the boss? He seems... Holy shit. Like, I don't know, uh, a Nazi detective. An Archangel Nazi Detective from another dimension. Why not? Why not? Huh. Wow. Okay, this one, the space is so much greater than the previous theme. It is a little bit more repetitive and or monotonous, but I think it was made like this to get you at the edge of your freaking seat and let the gameplay, the special effects uh, get in your mind, man. Play your tricks, make you feel uneasy and at constant danger, okay? Not too shabby. This is really versatile, man. I don't know. They can do everything, everything they want. Okay, the second 
song was more about space and again Tamber's sensations especially the sensation of being scared as fuck but i don't know let's see how will the third song of today's video do if you got this far on the video i don't blame you this video is a banger man will be a banger i'm sure of it with these freaking songs no doubt martyr guiding ahead boss battle theme which of these three persons is the boss i don't know let's go okay steady bass bum, 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 bum. And creepy organ. Okay. Please. Let this thing be, uh, I don't know, an industrial metal banger. Or a dubstep kind of banger, okay? see you it's great because we have a layer quite back in the mix of a choir yeah some singers supporting and blending with the organ which makes it a little bit more uh, horrific uh, not horrific scary a little bit more scary but this is horrific obviously it's great Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. The organ arpeggios, they remind me so much of an episode of Adventure Time where they do a duel, a synthesizer duel based on a Giorgio Moroder uh, banger. Crazy. No, it's not an organ, it's a synth with almost no attack fading out okay this wasn't the type of industrial metal i was waiting for but oh this section is a freaking banger man And the build-up, we're getting ready to destroy some assholes. Okay. Okay, I love this because usually dubstep's resources or similar resources are so freaking rhythmical, you know? They are all about a rhythm proficiency and development, but I like that here the composer or composers are using it very emotivic with actually some melodic development. Wait, wait, a little bit before. Listen to it. It's like we have the pan ta da 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 doing a call, a question, and we have a synthesizer or some other crazy electroish shit replying. See, call, reply, call, reply, and that second time. They used different notes, so they are doing variations over the time also. Oh, this timbre is nasty. Yes, sir. I like the slow pace of the song. It is meant to tell us you're not getting out of here anytime soon, man. This will be long and scary. And you will be crying for your life like the little bitch you are. 
crying and dancing for sure. Okay, no more replay here. They removed the replay. Very interesting. Now we have more space. It's crazy. Because the way they are doing that arpeggio is reminiscent of so many different mu musics or types of music. Like music from from Latin America, Latin music. Traditional Latin music, I should say. But we have those resources in this dubstep and frightening insanity. Music is amazing, man. Music is just one. Genres and classification is only a way to understand them or understand it better, but holy. Ba -ba -da -ba. The reply came back. Okay. They are removing it. They are adding it again okay for us to not foresee it so the song is not that predictable holy shit man i'm not gonna lie this reaction had my very poor English, already poor English at danger. I almost lose the only English I... The only... <laughs> the only English I know, man. Because of the freaky bangers and insanity. But okay. Okay. English mode on again. Thank you so much for watching. And bro, let me know in the comments what is your favorite theme out of these three. And if I hadn't react to your favorite one, let me know which one is it. Have a blast of a day. Peace. <laughs>